Hello everybody, welcome back to Let's Play Victoria 2 in Germany. Let's continue on from where we last left off. So, Russia was trying to break up the Ottoman Empire. We said no, we went to war with France and Russia, and we won. So, you know, fantastic work there. So, the Ottoman Empire, you know, a very, very strong ally. We want to keep them as strong as possible because, again, the Ottoman Empire re-becoming a great power is almost impossible, especially without any player intervention. Like, if you, went, if you go back and watch my Ottoman Empire Victory 2 series, which is, at this point, probably like three years old, you know, we got shit on by as the Ottomans over and over and over again until like 1910, which, at which point we became like a powerhouse. And we could basically fight everybody at once. It was a cool series. You should go back and watch it if you, uh, if you can. Um, you have 3921. Again, like, you still like us. And we'll quickly crush any revolt in Hungary or Poland that would see them try to leave our sphere because they are extremely important to us so you're hostile to russia which is understandable you're in our sphere we're making a decent amount of money right now oh uh, that's like the, we can also be cranking up taxes again there we go crank up those taxes make a decent amount of money so we can have at least a giant stockpile of money by the time the liberals come back and try to crash the economy And also probably start building up another army again. You're three of three divisions. Because one of you had two divisions. I guess I actually never organized you. Yeah, no, you were supposed to have like an entire another army. Actually, you come down here. And that should be fine. Can we build up another army yet? I think so. Five, one, two, three, four, five. Engineer, Hussar, and then we'll build up... Not a guard, but let's build up... Well, actually, what are you missing in Africa? Like, an 18 stack. You are, right now, completely infantry division. So, we'll actually build up an artillery division in you. You are laying on these nationalists. That's not great. Obviously. We have an extra slot. So, let's go for our... Why am I... Losing my mind right now. Production factories. Uh, most factories. German Rhineland. Congratulations, you can get some more clerks. We also got some new things. The Bulfur Declaration. You're 20,000 pounds. Prestige goes up a little bit. Again, we have so much money. Sure. It's not even an issue. And then the Bulfur Declaration. That's fine. So what do we want to get right now? I think we do want to keep going now into military tech trees because the getting this having the strongest military is very good. I know that isn't you know it's an insane idea, but trust me, it is actually true. Okay, there we go. So we should have basically all of Luxembourg recovered as well, because apparently you cannot trust the Luxembourgs at all. Okay, neutral neutral with these guys. Again, I don't think Russia can actually, um... Who the hell are you? Samos? Sure, I've never even heard of that country before, but... Russia, I don't think, can actually intervene in the rush for Africa. Because I think that's mostly just ma Like, your capital has to be in Europe. And I don't think... The Russian capital... We're here with the, uh... St. Basile's Cathedral? What cathedral is this called? I don't remember. But Russia's capital, I don't think, is considered, or they're at least directly excluded from the rush for Africa. Do I have a thing in my capital? No. We have Paris. He has a Big Ben. Why don't I get anything? Not fair at all. Add to Sphere. Persia's now under Sphere. We put them down this uh, one, because I don't think anybody else is really interested in them too much. Uh, Britain has them at a pose. Does the United States have anything in their capital? No. So, I, I don't know. I guess there's nothing important in Germany, then. So, what do I would like to uh, influence right now? Again, influencing these smaller guys around here... Isn't a bad idea. Persia. Like you. Small little boy. You're neutral to British. Do you have any supplies in you? You have some fish. I think you... You have gold right now. Qatar. 
And I think eventually you have oil, so I think you will be nice to influence. But we also have Bahrain over here as well. But you're friendly with Bahrain, but you're not with the Qatar. So we get Qatar in our sphere. I mean, we could also just invade Qatar. Your substate. Your satellite Bahrain. Okay, well, never mind then. We'll, we'll influence you anyway, it's not a big deal. Okay, so our navy is slowly expanding. Got a decent amount of ironclads, decent amount of stream transports. Um, when are you going to be done building level 3? You'll be done in around 74. So halfway through next year, you'll be ready to go for another uh, round of shipbuilding. So we're at 100 right now. Each one of you is 3. So that sounds like a decent amount of ships. Again, yeah, people in our sphere love us. Ottomans love us because, you know, we defended them. Romania is not a huge fan of us, but, you know, that can easily change. That's more militant socialists in Russia. Like, how many troops does Russia have? They have 165 divisions. I don't even know where Kunduz is. Is it one of these guys? I mean, Ben is getting quite strong. I kind of just cut you guys, just cut you in half. Oh, it's you over here. You're an absolute monarchy of the royal faction. That's fine. I mean, you can't influence the Qing. They're actually just too large. You're not allowed to. Japan's getting a little bit stronger. I mean, we have a Cambodia and stuff as well. You're friendly with the U.S. Could get you. But do you have anything? It's tropical wood and tobacco. Would that even really be useful for us? I have no idea. Build up on the factories again even more if they can actually be expanded upon. Like, we just have a large army right now. Put troops on the Dutch border. Because I think... Do you actually like us? You're No, you NATO 192. They do not like us at all. Belgium likes us. I have, Again, I have no real idea why. You're in the French sphere right now. Which sucks. It'd be nice if you were in my sphere. Man, you're all underneath the Russians. Which again, does suck. It'd be nice if Hungary could... You know, take this land. The two Sicilies. We're close. I mean, you actually, I think, you can't attack this guy again. Are you influencing him at least? You are. We'll see if you actually can get them before the French do. I mean, the French are already at 21. So we shall see. You know, rebel factions are still organizing the country. Not much I can actually do about that, unfortunately. Is those three the max we can have? Yeah, at least for right now. But that should change eventually. Nostalgic romance. War exhaustion goes down. Reaction of rebel organization has gone up. But that's fine. I mean, I've been putting the reactionaries in charge basically since 1836. So for the past 40 years at this point, they've been doing pretty okay, I would say. We obviously have a large stockpile now, so I think that does mean we can start buying bigger stockpiles of other things. At least for now. I know weapons we want a lot of, ammunition we already have a ton of. Um, Steamer transports. I want 184 of you. We're going to need steel. Just a stockpile of like 200 is fine on that. Machine parts... 203. Cement, you're always going to want to need for building factories. I think you want lumber as well, don't you? I think you do. So we'll have like a small stockpile of lumber as well. Again, I have a decent amount of money that I probably can just buy all of this stuff. I need, you do need clothes for uh, infantry and stuff. Liquor you do need. Do not automate it. Opium, I don't think. Luxury furniture is not something they actually need. Paper, beef. I remember what you actually need, though. You need cement. Wait, no, you don't need fertilizer. We'll buy a little bit of it. It's going to tank the economy for a while. It's going to be very expensive when we're buying all this stuff up. But as soon as we have it, it should be absolutely A-OK. -okay. No. Uh... Yeah. 
if things will cause... I mean, causing economic crashes sound fun, but at least not right now. Understandably, we might have some issues. I did just see that Italy did form. Increase opinion, get them up to cordial. So Italy, my good, good friends and ally, who still has a core on my territory, so that might, that might mean that he likes to hate us. They've also gone a narco-liberal. Well, they do like us. They do do like us. Again, I would if you actually asked for gores, I'd probably just give it to you. But unfortunately, I don't think there's anything I can do to actually, uh, to do that. Yeah, you're a core of my territory as well. So we have a very, very strong Italy. They have San Marino in their, uh, sphere, but that's really about it. And, you know, it's somebody to back us up on crisis, hopefully. Is there any crisis brewing up right now? A handful in Russia, a little bit in Poland. Um, nothing in the Americas, so as far as I can see. It's more that Russia is a ticking time bomb. And there will be, uh... Certainly issues that will arise. I think just, any you know the next crisis that happens in Russia, I will just immediately back. I think, and hopefully get the Italians and the Spanish at least on side. Okay, auto save. Thank you, Citizens Guard. Terrorists also have been invented. Fantastic. Who does not like some good old terrorism? So Italy's in. They already they went up to fifth place. Above the Russians, above the Japan. Who are you at war with Japan? Or war with? Nobody, you're just mobile. You know what? They might have so many rebels in their country that they might just have to be mobilized to fight them. That might be the case, honestly. Like, they've just been in such a shitty situation for a long time. Like, Japan, Russia, Spain. I'm so surprised they're actually doing as well as they are. Who's in ninth place now? The Dutch. Dominic Empire is in 10th. Like, they're not actually doing too bad. So, again, I think we're mostly doing fine. Upgrade all the factories we possibly can in the country. You know, that actually need upgrading. We're not going to upgrade anything willy-nilly. You know, but keeping people employed seems good. We're losing a little bit of money, but that's not a big problem. And are people getting their life goods? Uh, the answer to the question is, like, not really. So we're going to cut down taxes a little bit. Maybe they can get some more of their life needs. We're already making, you know, we have like $1.5 million in the bank. We're making 1000 a day. We'll cut tariffs as well down, uh, we'll go down 10%. 10% less tariffs. You're making, you're getting taxed less, so hopefully you'll actually be okay. Okay, so Switzerland. You have 18 opinion of me. I'll, I'll accept. You're at 98, and then it gets broken. So it thinks that I, I'm breaking the alliance. So if Switzerland offers you alliance, do not take it. Because it clearly does not actually work as intended. So it's mean like Switzerland just kind of hates ev Yeah, everybody just kind of hates Switzerland. Because of the way that mechanic works. Like, France is basically hated by all of their allies. We get a cost of spelling on Sweden. The SS Berlin explodes. The SS Berlin, a small military steamer, mysteriously sank yesterday uh, while a port call in a foreign harbor. Following a massive explosion on the starboard midship, military intelligence suggests the explosion has been caused by overheated boil boiler. With a wildly circulated scandal press, it's uh, taking liberties. So, place in the sun costs his belly. But you don't have a colony, do you? Like, place in the sun is for colonial holdings. No, you actually do. You have uh, one colony all the way over there. But you're in the British sphere, and I really don't think it's necessary to fight you. We'll lose prestige, we'll gain militancy, whatever. Fighting the British for a single island in the uh, Caribbean doesn't really strike itself as being too important to me, at least. Maybe I'm wrong? I don't think I am. 
Okay, the Conservatives have won. They are interventionalists. I mean, like, interventionalism is fine. Um, interventionalism or state capitalism, I think, is just the best ones. Protection is a moralism residency. That's okay. As long as I can still, you know, open factories and subsidize them, then I don't care who's in charge. Basically, as long as the liberals are not in charge, I don't care if you're a reactionary, I don't care if you're a conservative, as long, I don't care if you're a socialist. As long as you let me upgrade the factories myself, I don't care who the hell you are. Did one of our infantry divisions rebel? Yes, they did. Fantastic. So we need a cannon and infantry on this army right now, but you know what? I like I don't really want to deal with that. Like, you're also missing an infantry division. Because of course you are. So, you know, let's start building these guys up. One, two. I know we need three infantry at least. And a cannon. And there we go. Okay, well that's that for now. You can actually basically train my troops up to maximum. You like us? For now... It's very strange, like, you like, um, you like Russia, even though, again, Russia is holding, like, a decent amount of your core territory. Go up to speed 5, because, again, we are at peace. We don't need to be, kind of, like, dilly-dallying. I get a decent amount of money. Look at men, we can, we can mil uh, mobilize 500 divisions. What is it? To 935 divisions. 187 times 400%. That's insanity. It's yeah, so every single troop you deploy is another five guys you can mobilize. So I'm guessing this is just slowly taking up. Okay, so you guys go here. The one division will go here. But oh, you're actually going to this army. I was mistaken. These guys are fine, they just need to reinforce. Eventually. I mean, I can probably put money into the military so they can actually reinforce at a decent rate. At least for a while. So combine you. Combine you. No, you have 6th infantry. Am I, am I, is my brain melting? It must be. I'm sure somebody needs an infantry then. You have 3 infantry. There we go. You go down here. Hang out with that guy. You guys can combine. There we go. Mountain Warfare Army Trisha goes down by 2%. I will be happy with that. You can see these guys are slowly starting to uh, reinforce out of the maxi, paying them money to do so. Morale, military tactics. Military tactics is very important. I don't remember exactly why it's important. I just know that it is. So it's 1875. Like, we are close to um, being ready to go for the rush for Africa. So maybe it'd be a good idea to start trying to influence even more of... Oh, there we go. 5.5 prestige for the Kiel Canal to be finished. I mean, it doesn't really do anything. It just means that ships can go from this sea zone to this sea zone. Is that having to go up and around? I know. It's not, it's not that wild, but there you go. So, like, what can we do? We can... Probably, like, try to influence the Koto. That wouldn't be a bad idea. But it might not be necessary. Guitar, we can get up into our sphere. Basically put those guys down to one. I mean, what are we going to do with Katar in our sphere? I mean, that's a great question. I don't really know. Zanzibar, also put you in our sphere as well. You're new to it to everybody, so... And we're getting point four days, so we should be able to get you in our sphere pretty, pretty quickly, I would say. But again, with a brand new year in 1876, I think this is going to be a good time to end this video. So thanks, everybody, for watching. My name is Anthem. If you've enjoyed, remember to thumbs up. If you're not enjoying it, click thumbs down. Always press subscribe, and goodbye.